All right, so these two are going to go straight at it in at, on Pokemon Stadium. Um, I, all right, very good start for these two. Uh, Fox, Fox, Sheik. A lot of room to run around. A lot of room. A lot of room to run around. A lot of room to, to camp. Along with that, a good uh, DJ Nintendo. DJ Nintendo again also have a lot of room to just space around. And uh, yeah, uh, all right. So we currently have Vortex off off stage right now. Gets the back air. No, not quite. Gets the forward air. Forward throw. <coughs> all right. So gets the back, gets the back air. All right, these these two are just juggling each other, and DJ Nintendo's gonna lose lose his first stock off off that good teams combo. Actually, yeah, v Vortex and Venti, I think they always te those two have always teamed together, um, and they're and they definitely show this the synergy right now, just going for most team combos and such. All right, gets the up tilt into up smash, shines DJ Nintendo off stage, but. Is unable to capitalize off that off that off stage. Gets a good back air off of uh, and knocks out, and knocks out Vortex's first stock. All right, gets a good up smash and knocks out DJ Nintendo's second stock. Try, they're trying to they need to close out uh, Venti Venti stocks as soon as possible. Oh, tries to read, mistimes the back air and good getup attack. He has the misfire. Is he gonna store it? No. Uh, I don't think so. Not quite. Yeah. Good back here, closing off the stock, and a great grab and a great ledge grab, just grab, uh, knocking off, uh, not making this a, a four-six deficit for the blue team. Um, good, good <laughs> misfire, and that's gonna take Sheik stock, making this a five-four deficit. Manages to close this out. All right. So, so um, yeah, they're start definitely starting to climb the mountain right now. One of the biggest things that, one of the biggest things that I think Blue Team needs to do is they need to, they need to close out Venti stocks a bit more, um, especially. Uh, they, yeah, they need to close the stock, the stocks out a bit more. Good forwards, good forward tilt, and uh, this and the game is becoming more and more uh, even as as it goes on. They need to, yeah, they need to start focusing, uh, start closing out uh, uh, Venti stocks. Uh, our right, good down smash gets the up t up air. That's not gonna be it just yet. Good air to, to knock off uh, Zubat. All right, gets a good forward tilt. Gets an up smash. Gets an up, misses the up B. Manages to close it out, but now they're at one. But now both players are at one stock. Currently, you have DJ Nintendo at kill percent. Actually, gets a good up B. Let's. All right, good 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 awareness from DJ Nintendo. Just let his uh let his teammate just grab the ledge real quick. All right, gets a couple of jabs in. Good forward, good forward, uh, forward air. Oh, goes for a down air actually, as opposed to a back air. Um, has the misfire, makes it back to stage. Um. All right, so this is actually still doable. If they can close out Vortex's stock. It, oh, and we have DJ Nintendo. All right, good. All right, so they manage, so they do manage to take out Vortex stock here, and we have another two v one situation with DJ Nintendo. Actually, we currently have, we currently have Vortex trying to charge up the needles. <laughs> like that was a miscue on their on their part, part there. Um, bit of a miscue on their part, trying to get the uh, grab up smash. All right, so we're so I think it's uh, bands first, and then uh, I think it's I think it's stage bands first, then character. Yeah, so they're gonna. So they get banned first. Uh, possible again, another possible switch to from Luigi to uh, Yoshi. I, I, while Zubat has said that like he does hate uh, uh, Yoshi in this in doubles, I definitely do think like these last couple these last couple sets he has used Yoshi. It, it definitely has worked in his favor. Um, All right, so these so these two are gonna run it right back to Pokemon Stadium two. I definitely do agree with that. It, there were a bit of flubs from both the blue team and the red team that, uh, and and it was very close. So, and again, it, again, it gives back it gives back to the room that people have to run.
All right, so. All right, so so we currently have a uh, we currently have Luigi off stage again. Uh, another fair possibly could have could have cleared that out. Just up these back down the stage. Get good down air off of that. Oh man. All right, man. All right, so we have Venti making it back on the stage. Gets swiped. Gets swiped at by uh, by DJ and Vortex loses first stock. So we currently have some of the adjustments we made right now. Um, they just need to clear out. They need to finish off one of the stock. Uh, most of these stocks a lot a lot faster. Um, I feel. Um, good up smash. Get getting this started. Um. <laughs> Good, good neutral B from uh, DJ Nintendo actually uh, gets a, gets a throw back air and all right forward forward tilt good back air from from Vortex actually but DJ Nintendo is able to keep both feet both uh both teammates against uh, out of state out of stage reach and manages to take a double kill off that. Venti acts uh, with, a, with, a, with an input error, just thinking that he was on a, thinking that he was on the stage, but was not. Um, gets the forward tilt. Oh, gets the gets the short you can misses that. All right, gets the down air. All right, great edge, <laughs> great edge guard from from Zubat, just back airing him across. And, we, and, and now this is looking like a bit, a bit more of a more dominant game for the blue team, actually. Um, while last game was a bit more even, still, but still swinging in red team's favor, actually. You definitely started to see some of the adjustments. Clank City over there, over there against those two. Good up smash, keeping up, uh, keeping off stage, and stores the misfire. <laughs> Zubat just chilling there. What in the world is going on right now? Right now. Oh, uh, and he gets the misfire that time. Uh, all right, so he gets the back air. Um, again, again, uh, Zubat has the misfire. He's definitely they're, they're definitely just like relaxing right now. They have the lead. They're playing very conservatively, making them come to them, man. Great edge guarding coming back from from Zubat. Great edge guard from Zubat and DJ Nintendo, making some of the adjustments. Since this is since this is a final matchup right now, we do it is three out of five. So there's a lot more adjusting to be to be made throughout this entire set. Um. So Wario Wario is already banned. Um. So. So they banned Delfino Secret. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to fix the uh, stick problems. 
Find us out. <laughs> Alright, so So again we have so again we have uh Vortex and Venti uh, had a bit of a deficit going into this game. Um it's a couple of jab combos. <laughs> oh, accidental hit. Uh, team hit uh, 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 over there. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Zubat's shield looking very small and is going to pay for it with an up smash. Um, Alright, so let's see how this one's going to turn out. Um, gets, down, gets down throw. We have DJ off stage again, but and, and opting to, instead of finishing off that stock, just to just to go for the 2v1 and that definitely paid for that definitely paid for them in that in that situation. Um right, gets a good down B, gets a good down B, throws him back. Oh my gosh, getting started over here. Alright, gets a good up smash. And the salt has and the salt has walked through the building. We have Knox. <laughs> we All right, good back air and a good back air string taking out, taking out Venti's, taking out Venti's second to last stock. Um. All right, so we currently have these two just like relaxing, just chilling out right now. Um. Uh, good forward tilt. That's going to knock out Venti's uh, uh, Vortex to second to last stock. But is he going to make it back on stage? Yes, he will. Oh, my gosh. The Meteor. And these two are just over committing to it. Ta but he managed to take out <laughs> Venti's second to uh, last stock. And now we have Vortex trying to, make it, trying to make a comeback of his own. He does manage to take an accidental SD from DJ Nintendo. is making this a, a, a one-stock game, man. That's going to be it. That's going to be 2-1. Be two, it's gonna be two. DJ Nintendo versus and Zubat. All right, so they're going right back to PS2. Um, yeah, essentially this is, it hasn't been the stage has been the problem so. It's it's definitely been it's definitely been like equal skill uh, skill at this point. So um so these so these two are definitely going to try and do. So I think some of the bigger things that they need to do is as opposed to uh, committing to the two v one actually. I think what they should focus on doing is just closing out stocks a bit more because we had decent. We had we had a uh, we had uh, so, yeah so they had to like get the stocks they need to clear out these stocks a little bit faster um I feel because we had, they had they had they had DJ Nintendo they had DJ Nintendo just going and DJ Nintendo gets a good forward smash and and we currently have King Coney finally all right joining on the mic. Joining this boy right here. Thank you. All right, so we got we got Ike Luigi versus Fox. Uh, Fox Sheik. Sheik. So I know DJ Nintendo. He, he's obviously from Melee. He's old school. And uh, yeah, so he, so definitely, he definitely knows, knows Fox and Sheik as opposed to like other characters, maybe. Yeah. And that's why I think we're gonna see the strengths like uh, come. Yeah, this right? is definitely where you're seeing some of the strengths uh, occur. Like one of the bigger things, like I, because like I, I I'm oh, friends with, fire. I'm friends with a, with a with a with a more Melee player. He does enjoy playing Project M also every now and then. And uh, whenever me and him team, he enjoy he like he gets like he doesn't get tilted per se. He just doesn't know like what how to yeah. di certain moves. Listen, PMs and PMs literally a ton of matchup. Knowledge. Yeah, so it's literally all it's like not all matchup knowledge, but it helps a lot. It really does. Understand yeah, understand what each character individually does and what their strengths and weaknesses are. Now for Zubat, oh Zubat's one stock. Okay, so now we're five to three, five to four. Last game blue team took right. Yeah. Okay, so now it's two one. That'd be two two. Um. I want to say like that. What I've seen Blue Team do a ton is in all the systems I've watched them play so far. These guys they, they force the one v one. I think I, that's, that's what I've noticed between uh, the sets they play. They force one v ones. 
And oh, Zubat's a really bit random player, by the way. Yeah, Zubat no, I'm, I'm does, definitely, I'm definitely learning about that. Yeah, he, because uh, he definitely does some questionable decisions, but they always seem to they work because, because no one expects it. Yeah, exactly. The best, you know, the best option is the worst option at points. Exactly. So now, uh, oh, Zubat taking Zubat taking one of Ike's stocks. Now, uh, although they're in a lead, Fox and Sheik, or Fox can die very early, especially in double scenario because he can get body like hardcore, and. I mean, she can get edge guarded. Like, wow, Nintendo surprisingly m missing that edge guard right there. All right, good, good nair knocking, knocking vortex up uh, in the air. Um, see, like, oh see, yeah, Zubat's done. Zubat has died from smash like tons of times. Oh, I guess they're gonna have him keep it in stock. They're gonna have him keep it. So, I don't know. I, I personally never agree with them not taking stocks. Well, maybe they have an idea in this scenario. Uh, he died right there, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, hey, this is definitely doable for Nintendo. It, like, it really is doable. One gimp on Fox after he kills him once is literally all it is. And then just Sheik 1v1. He, I guarantee he knows that matchup. Yeah, well. he, yeah, no, he will definitely know this matchup. Um, but not to say Vortex does not. So, like, I don't know. We're going to see uh, Nintendo playing very safe. And we'll see how well this team plays 2v1. Two two uh, because it, sometimes, no, uh, as I say it, they, uh, now it goes 2 2. But as, like, so sometimes teams that are playing 2v1 actually struggle more that because it's kind of weird. Like, you know, you have time going in at, uh, you gotta like time going at the correct time and stuff. So, yeah. Um, all right. So going back, going back to some of these bands, um, there's currently, so they banned, um, Wario. Well, Wario is already banned. Um, now, who, wait, where did, uh, Zubat and, uh, Z Nintendo win? Yeah, I like Super Team, baby. Where did Blue Team win? Do you remember? Blue, than, uh, Blue Team, uh, this entire set has been played on Pokemon Stadium. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I'm being so, 100% serious, yeah. I, I'm sure they won't mind going there again then. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, that's the thing I'm actually wondering about. Okay, so, all right, so there's the switch to Yoshi, actually. Um, Zubat has said several times that he does not like Yoshi in doubles, I believe. I mean, he um, did, his Yoshi did okay when he played it versus us. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a whole different game depending who you play against. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, I think along with this, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if uh, Vortex and Venti know the uh, Yoshi matchup. I don't know as many Yoshi's in. Uh, now in what we're gonna see is can Yoshi keep his stocks? Yeah, that's, that's honestly the struggle in doubles. If Yoshi gets body, he dies like so early. He dies really early, no up, yeah. Like due to no real recovery, other than double jump. So if you eat that double jump, or eat his, if he attempts to like hit you with an aerial after double jump, then he's dead. Like pretty much as long as you guys can coordinate edge guard together. Which these guys can definitely do. Yes, no, they can definitely do that. Um, and Ike is also really good at controlling space. Ike will just long range. He's just kind of a scary character, like to go up against because you know you don't, you may not, you may not space correctly, and then you, hey, you just eat like twenty damage. Twenty damage uh, off, way, off yeah, of nothing. Exactly. Yeah, go like super far off it. All right, gets so, back on the stage. Uh, try to try to actually give him the egg. As you notice now, look at again a one v one scenario. These teams uh, tend to opt for that right now. Yeah, they they normally tend to do um, and along with that, they're, they're never. I don't think they're really that uh, one hundred percent on the two v one situation. Because I remember uh, uh, I, I forget who it was, but uh, DJ Nintendo was not was off stage, and they just opted to go for a two v one, and it really didn't pay. It really didn't pay off because DJ Nintendo just killed them both uh, almost immediately. Great nair knocking off Vortex. As I'm watching now, these guys seem to have a ton of trouble just edge guarding in general, like. They're not coordinating their edge guards correctly, and you know it's it's kind of screwing them over for it. It really is, because yeah. Because they could be getting free kills on Fox or something like that, and like 50 percent as opposed to you know him dying at 120. That, that that could be a big difference. Yeah, no, like it really is. It, yeah, it really does. It really does make a big difference. Um, a couple of jabs going to this. Um. Oh, <laughs> he's expecting the back throw actually. Yeah. Trying to go for the up smash. Oh, I, I definitely do agree with that with that, with that choice, though. Um, now, what I do see Zubat use a lot in doubles with Yoshi is down B. He loves that move. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it could work, but... And, like, the thing about doubles is, like, you know, you just want to force them. You want to pressure them. Even if you do unsafe options in doubles, it's not technically... It's, like, it's technically unsafe, but not really, because your teammate could also be there to help you out with the unsafe move. So it's, like, it's, it's not bad to do unsafe moves like down B because... If Zubat does down B and then he gets like maybe shield grab for it, I can always go over there and like stop him. Yeah. Like, stop him from getting punished for it and stuff. Oh my gosh, so, great, te great team yes. combo knocking off Vortex. Fantastic. But see, like, you know, getting hit off stage, that was great by Fox protecting his teammate. Now, right now, Blue Team with a small lead, a stock lead, and uh, 
But that could change, like, with, with any at any character. point. Because we do have Yoshi at 109% right oh, now. Oh, she's dead. Oh, okay. my gosh. So now, now it's a they, have a... they have a bigger lead than before. A bigger lead than before. But, uh, but again, this is still doable for, for the yeah. red team, actually. I mean, doubles, man, you never count anyone out in doubles. A lead could change... A like, lead could change just like that. Yeah, it's like... Exactly. Dying now. Listen, Ike is surprisingly not too hard to gimp because it really without isn't a jump, without a jump and without a big wall below hand, you you, you can stop him from doing what he wants and, to oh, do. And I love that you can you can read his up uh, recovery. It's either it's just a straight line. Oh, this could be it for Fox. That's it. Oh, oh never mind. great! Smart, smart up in my vortex, and he lives. He lives. So, it's great. Oh my God! Too bad dead. I think. Oh, never mind. No, not quite. I don't think Ray so just yet. Nintendo. Oh, he, and, he's dead. And now he's dead. Takes a stock. 67% on Vortex. So now, he, this is definitely doable, but it's, it's, oh, that might be it. That should be it if he edge correctly. Oh, my God. Kills his teammate. Oh, never mind. That's it. All right. Well, they win 3-2. Right, I have to get off and play.